Uh, so my name is Ryan Lee. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah, the beautiful Wasatch Mountain Range, and my business is financial strategy with cash flow tactics. So my life before was to a breaking point, honestly. Um, you know, before coming to to working with Brian and his team. You know, I had a business that was successful. Uh, the success that I had though was all word of mouth and referral, and it was all one-on-one, -on -one, and that we got amazing results, but because I couldn't really control my marketing and because I was stuck in one-on-one, -on -one, uh, I had to take feast or famine whatever came my way. And I didn't feel like I could go any further because I didn't know how to market. I didn't know how to get a message out there, although inside I had a, just an internal drive to be able to get a message out that I care about and that honestly makes an impact in people's lives. So the biggest problem that I faced in my business was not having a complete front to back marketing strategy. Not having the ability to go out and deliver a message with a brand, with a theme, with an education platform, everything that comes with a front end marketing platform I had little bits and pieces, and because I had bits and pieces, it was sporadic. The success that I had was sporadic, it was intermittent, and it was un... I couldn't measure it and I couldn't, I couldn't count on it. So the, the biggest problem that I had was just uncertainty in the flow of business for, for me and, and the clients that I would work with. So this has kind of been a, a two, almost a three year journey for me before I got here to Perfect Funnel Systems. And um, the, the, the really the path that I was on is, you know, I first decided that, I, you know, I was going to become an expert in my field, which I did, uh, became, you know, was got a, amazing elite results for the people that I worked with. And I, as I did this, I was very passionate about the message that I, that I had to share because it was making an impact and a positive difference in people's lives. So I wanted to take the message further and farther and I spent t more and more time developing the expertise and then applying that expertise in, with clients on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But I got to the point that I realized that there, there was a cap to my time. I just could not take on any more clients. Um, and I wanted to find a way to scale my business. And so to try to figure out how to step into the world of marketing and scale, um, I first read a book that led me to join the group of ClickFunnels. Uh, we started using ClickFunnels, which was an amazing tool to help get me online. But so much of what, what I learned in ClickFunnels, um, you know, I was trying to do myself. And in the beginning, this worked to get me going. But again, now I had a full-time job meeting with clients and a semi full-time job trying to figure out how to build funnels and market a message. Uh, so soon after that, um, I, I decided to start looking to hire people. And the challenge with everyone that I hired was they didn't understand my business. They didn't understand me. They didn't understand what I was trying to do. And in, in the space that I'm in, I take so much pride in being the exact opposite from traditional, normal business suit finance. And everyone that I brought in tried to market me as that. And so I was, it was in this constant battle. And I went from outside agencies to you know, retainers with partners. And you know, the, more, the, more, the deeper I got with these people, the more I felt like, man, I should just go back and do it myself again. I had just as good, if not better results when I was just doing it myself. And so I got to the point where I really, all, me and my business partner, we wanted to just shut down the marketing and just decide to go back to working with referral-based business only. Um, I had met Brian a couple of years ago when I first got into the marketing world and I wasn't ready to work with Brian at that time. And you know, when I met Brian and I saw the, you know, the breadth of what he did, it, it honestly it kind of intimidated me. Um, and so, but at this point, I came back in contact with Brian and I was completely ready to be able to partner with him and with a system that could not only help me with you know, building the funnels, which was the easy part, but really nailing down the branding, the messaging, the, the platform, the system, and you know, from front to back, tip to tail, everything that was needed to take a consistent message to the marketplace with a, a powerful, powerful product behind it. It was a big jump. Honestly, the, the biggest obstacle for me was just making that commitment. I mean, the, the best way I could think about it was it was kind of like a marriage. Right? When, when I decided prior to Brian, I hired people and I paid them a retainer, which meant when it wasn't working for either one of us, the, the relationship stopped just like that. 
and there were pros with that, but obviously there were major cons. They weren't invested in my business. I re wasn't really invested with them. I wanted a result and if I didn't get it, it was done. Um, with Brian and partnering with, with his team, it really was a partnership. Uh, it was uh, a long, lengthy commitment, and he was selective about who he partnered with, which meant that he was committed to results. And one of the things I love about the partnership is it's truly that. It wasn't just money regardless of results. It was money tied to results. And so Brian took months, <laughs> really months, to get in and understand what our business is, what our message is, who our avatar should be. And from, from doing that, he had just as intimate, intimate understanding of our message and what we do as I do. And up to that point, I had never had someone with a marketing mind on my team. And once, once Brian got the vision of what we did and who we serve, he, he now could take the message and position us as the experts in the field. And so the, the biggest hurdle was just making the commitments to bringing on a partner in the business. But that was the biggest benefit at the same time because the partner now truly cares. So for me, it was results. Uh, everything I'm preaching in this business is all about results. How I can get tangible, measurable, quantifiable results for the clients that I work with. And I wanted someone to get me results, which meant it couldn't have been their first rodeo. I, I trusted in too many people up to that point that had a good marketing message or had a good message that they could get results, but didn't really have a lot of proof behind it. Brian had the proof. Brian had the, the real experience, not only in, him, in his own business and what he had done, but with other clients that he had worked with. And so when we looked at what Brian had to offer, the results that came with Brian and his package spoke for themselves. And that was, that was really what pushed us over the edge. So the development phase was just so, it was so inspiring for me. Um, honestly, I've been in the business now for five years and because I was a referral based based person, right? I, I worked with anyone, right? And some of the clients that I worked with, I mean, I gelled with and they gelled with me and some of the clients that I worked with, yes, I got them results, but they were, I wouldn't say they were my ideal client. You know, I dreaded calls from them. Uh, working with Brian in the, in the development phase, we got clear on two things. We got cl laser clear on the message, not just to the head, but to the heart. What it is that people want, and then obviously how we can justify it logically, but getting clear on what the message was that resonates with people's true passions and desires, that was number one and that was powerful. I mean, everything you see behind me, the, our, our, our brand, our imagery, everything was intentionally created to appeal to the emotional side of what people want out of their financial plan. So that was huge. But the second thing that was just massive for me, I didn't have a clear avatar. I didn't have someone clearly that I, that I wanted to talk to. If, if, if people asked me who my ideal client was, what it was, it was just anyone that had money that wanted to talk. Um, but working with Brian, we got laser clear on who my ideal client is. Not only what they value, but who they are demographically, what they want to accomplish, what they resonate with, and once I got clear on that with Brian and his team through that, that, that first experience, everything started to accelerate. I could now intentionally eliminate the people that I didn't want to work with because honestly it, was, it, it, it wasn't serving me and it wasn't serving them. I wasn't giving them my best. But once I got clear on who I wanted to work with and the message, the business has just gone crazy. So through the launch until now, this has been the best part about working with Brian and his team. Uh, it goes back to what, what I talked about earlier with the partnership. You know, it's one thing to get clear on a message. It's another thing to then take that message and put together a, a platform of education and funnels and, and, and all of that kind of stuff. But now for me, I'm swimming in uncharted water, right? I have, I've never ran perfect webinars before. I've never ran Facebook ads before. I've never optimized. I've never taken what I'm doing right now and been able to look at it from so many different areas of expertise, make the tinks and the, the tweaks that need to be made to continually, constantly improve, you know, not only the people that are coming, but the experience that they're having, the conversion rates, the close rates, everything. So the, the main benefit of the phase that we're in right now, the scale phase, is I've got Brian constantly every single week in my business. In fact, Brian has made two trips out from California to Utah to spend focused, targeted time with us to rework our messaging, to rework you know, how our webinars put together, to rework the email sequences that we have to make sure that what we have is humming like a well-oiled machine.
What I love most about working with Brian and his team is, you know, and, and this might sound cliche, but they care. Um, it goes back to what we talked about earlier. They are truly a partner with me and my team. Their success is tied to my success. And I love that about, about, about working with you because what it really comes down to is, you know, before there was always, you know, this, this, this sense of, what, there was a trust with the people that I worked with. It was just, I'm paying you to get me a result, get me a result. That, that's all it was. It was just a monetary transaction. With, with Brian and his team, there were tied to an impact. And it's, it's not just a financial result. Honestly, the financial results have been awesome, but we're tied to an impact. Brian takes on clients that he believes in. Uh, he's an impact-driven individual, which I also am an impact-driven individual. And when, when the two of us are working together, we bring that in alignment. And our main goal and objective is to make an impact in the marketplace that we serve. And doing that together, using his expertise and my expertise side by side, has really been what I've enjoyed most. I would say, for me, the values have aligned in every way. <laughs> I've never had a coach uh, or a mentor uh, like Brian where some of our discussions, in fact, I would say half of our discussions aren't even about the business specifically. It's about the books that we're reading. It's about the family life that we have. It's about the exercises that we do. It's about the lives that we leave outside of our business, but those lives correlate so directly with our business. And, and when I talk to Brian, I see you know, just like the avatar that I want to serve, Brian and I are so in sync with the lives that we want to live, the impact that we want to make, and all of that in our personal lives translates over to our business lives. And I've really enjoyed that about Brian and his team, is they, they're people that I like as friends, not just, you know, co-workers and then we're done. They're people that I like as friends. Um, you know, honestly, the, the life and my business now are in a completely different hemisphere. Uh, six months ago, I was scrambling around like a chicken with my head cut off, <laughs> you know, waiting for the next referral to come in and trying to figure out how to piece all the all the, the steps together for my clients. And I had a system, but, you know, because I didn't have it all mapped out and laid out from front to back and a marketing message and, and a platform for education, it was me hustling through a lot of the, the gaps that I had in my business. In the position that I'm in now, there's a complete funnel. There's a there's one path for a client to walk, which means every client is getting a, a massive, a, like a positive experience. And it's not just positive for one person and negative for the next. It's a positive, consistent experience for every single client that comes through. Um, I have a message and a funnel and a filter to put people through. And if they make it through the funnel, then by the time they get to me, they want to be there. And I want them to be there too, because we've intentionally weeded out clients and individuals that should not be there. So today I get to talk to amazing people in a way that I have never ever talked to them before. I get to show up and do what I'm truly passionate about whereas before people only got to see that passion in very limited settings and if it was, if they did get to see it, it was only done one on one. Now I'm able to train in a group setting. I'm able to make a massive impact in the marketplace. Every single week Brian lines up hundreds of people to listen to this message that I have to share. And that has been so validating, so rewarding. And honestly, it's opened up so much perspective of what is possible. So in the last six months, everything has changed about my business from how I did it, to who I talked to, to what I do. It's completely different now. So for anyone who's on the fence, it comes down to two things. It comes down to one, number one, results you're considering working with someone because you're looking for a result that you currently do not have. If you are looking for a small result, Brian probably isn't the, the guy for you. But if you are looking to make a massive impact, to get a massive result, then Brian is the person for you. And the second piece to this puzzle is the expertise. It's one thing to talk about results. It's another thing to be able to get results. Brian has the expertise, like I said, both in his personal businesses that he's done for 15 years, the better part of 15 years, not just with himself though, but with hundreds of clients, people that he has helped take a message to the marketplace and rise up leaders and impact, impact makers in the marketplace. So if you are looking for results and you're looking for someone not to just talk about it, but to lead you on a path that you cannot see yourself, then Brian and his team are for you.